Alright, so today we're going to address a comment that I see sometimes in my videos. Now I understand that some people just like taking digs at me in the comment section, which is perfectly fine. Okay, I love reading them. Um, but anytime I do a, a playing video, and you know I'm at, I'm at a, you know one of my local fields here, and there's a bunch that I play. I play at Blitz Creek Paintball here in Tampa. Um, I play at um, Orbital, which is a great field also. I also play at a new field that just opened up called South Tampa Paintball. Anytime I play on, on one of those fields, um, I'll see a comment and I'll say, Ugh, Mike's playing against rental players, okay? He's, he's playing against rental players because he, he just wants to look good on camera, okay? <laughs> Let me explain something to you. Okay, when I started playing paintball in 88, the mentality of how I was treated when I first started playing, which I think is the correct way to do it, is it does not matter if it's your first day. It does not matter if you've been in paintball for five years. Okay, if you come to the paintball field and you've got a mask, whether it's a rented mask or it's your own mask, and you've got a gun, whether it's a rented gun or it's your own gun, if you've got the minimum essentials that you need to play paintball, at that point in time, you are a paintball player. You're not a rental player. You're not a newbie. You're not any of that stuff. You are a paintball player, okay? And, and when I see people with rental guns, with masks, when they, are, when they want to play, they're going to get to play with me. Now, I don't care if you're a pro player. I don't care if you this is your first day or you've been playing for 15 years, okay? I'm out there to have a good time, and I'm out there to include everybody, okay? And I don't care if you're 10 years old. I don't care if you're 90 years old. I don't care if you're male, if you're female, if you're black, white, Asian, American, Indian, Canadian. I don't care. Okay? I just don't care. You're a paintball player. If you have a mask and you have a gun, you've got paint or marker. If you've got paint, you're ready to play. You are now a paintball player. The thing a lot of people have got to understand is, is there are a thousand, thousands of things that are out there right now that people can be doing on the weekend other than playing paintball, okay? And, and it, it, there's a million things out there, okay? You, you, you know, they, they've got these things now, these, these beer runs, okay, which are a blast, okay? Run from bar to bar to bar. Drink beer, it's like a 5K, you have an absolute blast. Half the participants are hot-ass girls, okay? Total, total fun. Um, they've got these new things now, um, these obstacle races, okay? Like the Spartan race, the Tough Mudder, and stuff like that. Half the participants are girls, half of them are women, they're all hot. It's an absolute blast, okay? There's things like um, you know, CrossFit classes. Half the participants are women, they're all hot. Total, you know, a lot of fun. Everybody's included. Everybody has a really good time. There's a thousand and one things that people can be doing on the weekend other than paintball. Okay, there's nothing, there's nothing magical. There's nothing pure. There's nothing um, spiritual about this hobby, this sport, this activity that we really love doing. So when somebody makes the decision to come out to the field, okay, and, and forego everything else that they could possibly be doing, golf, or spending time with their family, or organizing their room, or cleaning their car, I mean, name all the things you could be doing on the weekend. When they, when they sweep all that aside and say, I want to come out to a paintball field, and I want to experience this firsthand, I want to see what this sport is all about, and they're sitting there on the sideline, and they have their mask, and they have their gun, and they're ready to play, and then some asshole comes along and says, you know what? You're not good enough to play with us because we're more experienced than you are. So even though you, you made the decision to come out here and play, we're not going to let you play. <laughs> There's nothing more damaging that you can do to not only to that person and, and, and their opinions of paintball, but also to the paintball sport itself because that person's not coming back. There's a million other activities out there that, that person could be doing that is going to get involved where people are going to be friendly to them and they're not going to be excluded, okay? I don't exclude people. I do not care what you think about me. I will play against new people. I will play against experienced people. I, I mean, ask anybody that's played against with me, played with or against me out here. I don't care if I'm playing against guys from Tampa Bay Damage. I don't care if I'm playing against 10 year olds that are in a birthday party. I don't care. I'm out there to play paintball. I'm out there to have a really good time. Something that a lot of people don't realize is those, those newbies that you think I'm just shooting up running away, I see them again the next week. Okay, they come and watch the videos that I put up on YouTube. They see themselves in those videos. They're excited. Not only that, but we will play with them over and over and over again throughout the day. Okay, we will try, I will try to wear them out. Okay, so that when they go home, they go home exhausted. They go home, you know, with a lot of stories. Of course, did they get shot? Yeah, of course they got shot. Everybody gets shot. It's what we do. This is our sport. Why are we trying to hide that from people? But not only that, but I get the responses back from the field owners that are happy that, 
people have included their patrons that they've worked so hard to get. You know how hard it is for a, for a field to get somebody to actually come out there to rent the equipment and to play? It's very, very difficult. And you got to understand one thing about fields. Fields only have like eight hours in a week where they can actually make money, okay? It's from Saturday from 10 to 2 and Sunday from 10 to 2. That's it. Those two windows on the weekends, that's pretty much the only time really they, they have a chance to really make their money or at least the bread and butter of their entire week is going to be on those two days. Okay, so when, so when they actually work hard, they advertise, they, they network, they answer the phone calls, and they get the person out there, and then somebody like myself includes them into the game and just runs on game after game after game after game. They're shooting people, I'm shooting people, they're shooting me, I'm shooting back at them. We're all having an amazing time, and they go home. That's the story you want to get. Not exclusion. Not saying, not, you know, not, not saying, yeah, I went over to the field, but unfortunately, since I had a rental mask and a rental gun, none of these assholes wanted to play with me. So I got to play one game, and I went home. Fuck this. Next time, let's go mountain biking, or let, let's go do a CrossFit class. Let's do a yoga class. Yeah, it's like 90% women there. Okay, let's do that. Or let's go do a, a, a beer run, or let's go do a Tough Mudder, okay, where everybody's included and everybody's having a good time. Fuck paintball. Why go play paintball when all I'm going to do is sit on the sideline? I don't have $1,000 to invest in the equipment for these, for these jerks to take me seriously. Is that really the message you, wanna, you want these people to go home with? Or do you want these people to go, sure, they're going to have stories where they say, yeah, I got shot up. Everybody, when they first try play play paintball for the first time, gets shot up, okay? That's the story. That's fun. You, you know that you're going to get out there. And, and that's what they signed up for, okay? So... Exclusion sucks. If it bothers you that I include everybody and that I don't exclude people when I play paintball, I'm sorry. I've been playing since 1988. It's how I was brought into the sport and that's how I continue to play. If that really bothers you when you move on and you go on to other sports, you can take that shitty mentality to other, you know, to all the other activities you ever do. For me, inside of paintball, if you have a mask, you have a gun, we're playing, let's go to the field.